hello so welcome in this one I'll be sh showing you the difference between appearance and material so I think when I started I often um, confused the difference between appearance and material because you feel like when you applied your appearance from this side that and you pick like for example carbon steel that is this part is automatically a carbon steel material um, but that's not the case when you apply your appearance that just kind of gives your part um, a cosmetic look but your material applying material to it actually tells gives the this part the material so that way you can actually check the weight of this material or any other stuff you need to check so to start I'll just show you so let's say we want to get the weight of this part um, we click on mass property and if you don't have mass property make sure you are in the evaluate tab and if you don't see the evaluate tab right click and just make sure you have this check so select mass property and you can see the mass of this part I'm just going to write it down is 0.574 so 0.574 pounds and this part there isn't anything applied to it now let me apply this material and um, click OK so I've applied that material to this part and now let me check my mass property again you can see that my mass is still 0.574 so now it's just giving this look it's just giving a carbon steel look but it's not really applying the um, natural physical properties of a carbon steel material to it so to up to to correctly I'm not sure if that's the right time to add the material to this part the right way so you have if you look on your feature manager tree you see the materials over here right click on it and click edit material so now it brings you into all this SOLIDWORKS material you have all these different materials so let's say this we want to see to be like a carbon steel like just like a steel material it doesn't even have to be carbon steel so let's just pick one so this this are SOLIDWORKS material and let's say I want it to be this um, for 4340 anil and when you look in here you see all the measurement all the properties for this and the units for it and up here you can change the unit to inch um, to English or whatever unit you feel comfortable working with and the thing about this is you can edit it you can edit it I can edit any of this or type anything in there and right next to it is just the appearance you can edit anything in here so now let's say this is the material I want and I click apply and now that material has been applied to it so I'm just going to up click apply and close right so now it another way you will know that your material is applied is you see that 4340 still that I showed that I chose is actually showing up here so now if I check the mass property you can see that my mass has changed to 4.502 pounds so which means when you make this part in real life um, it's going to weigh roughly around 4.502 um, pounds so that is the first thing to know so that's how that's the difference between applying appearance and actually applying material to it um, and for mechanic for you mechanical engineering student you'll be using this a lot so which is why I wanted to point it out um, another thing is let's say you wanted to make your own custom material so right in this um, right in this part you can edit it go let's go back in there edit it so to make your own custom part all you need to do is just um, come down here somewhere and click right click and select this new library so it's going to ask you to save it save the your library name um, whatever you want to save it and it's going to automatically save it under the customs like the same thing in the in this folder so I can call my um, Aziz um, um, custom material so 
I'll click save and as you can see as this custom material is now showing in here so now what I need to do is now right click again and right click and click category because this is the my folder and in this category my new category let's say I want to make it steel so I just named that category steel so um, now I have the steel folder so all I can do is the shortest way to do it is go back into the steel the solid work material steel and let's say I want to pick this alloy steel I can either right click and copy it and I'm just going to minimize this and come into my custom steel right click and paste so now I've added that material into my custom material and if I click on it you see now these values are available you can edit it so if you have specific unit that you want to type in there for your material you can just type them and on this next tab you can change the appearance to whatever you want you don't have to necessarily use the same appearance you can change it to whatever you want and this arch that you can change the arch to the arch is just when you section it whatever what type of arch is going to be so that's pretty much the only three things I mess with so that's this is how you create your own custom material you create a folder and let's say we want to add another another um, category that is um, plastic so you right click category and you can name that plastic plastics and now if I go into the SOLIDWORKS library and I can find plastics and I can just select one that meets whatever I want right click on it copy and come to your plastic right click paste and now I have plastics in there and again anything you put into your custom folder you can edit edit the units so that's the difference between appearance and actual and actually adding material thank you for watching and i will see you in the next tutorial bye